Recently, I've noticed Greenpeace UK has been going out of their way to advertise on social media, Facebook. And I'm looking at one of their ads right now, and I'm just going to read it out. It's a verbatim. Okay, so Shell is suing us for millions of dollars for peacefully protesting their oil platform. So we've launched an open letter to show Shell and the court that public opinion is on our side. Add your name now. And they've got a kind of childlike uh, font. If you're sick of corporations destroying our entire, and this is verbatim, effing planet, F-U-C-K-I-N-G, stop block capitals and click this ad. I spelled that out because I don't want YouTube to censor me. Um, but yeah, that's that's the sort of advertisements they've been coming out with recently. So apparently Shell has taken legal action against them. Uh, there's been a lot of ads like this. That's at least the tenth one I've seen in recent weeks, at least. Uh, I mean, there really has been a lot. Um, my message to Greenpeace is, no, I do not support you. And no, I do not agree that public opinion is on your side. So I want to quantify this a little bit. Um, I'm no stooge of a company like Shell. I do think there are legitimate concerns about some of the ethical practices of big energy companies. And certainly um, there is a lot of anger, public anger, over the sort of profits that they're making at a time of ever, you know, living costs continue to be an issue. That's still not out of the public uh, radar as, uh, as an issue. Um, I do think there's legitimate anger out there at the greed of these energy companies. I, I feel that anger. Um, and there has been times they have acted in a very unethical way. Um, Die newspaper has run a campaign about uh, how certain companies, not Shell, but others are polluting our canals and riverways. So I have no interest in being like a stooge or a PR guy for those sort of companies. But I also have no time for Greenpeace. Um, you know, I'd sort of somewhat separate Greenpeace from the other ego groups that I've been very vocal about, groups like Just Stop Oil, Extinction Rebellion and so on. I sort of gave them a little bit of the benefit of the doubt in the sense that for the most part, they don't really target the public in the same way. Greenpeace doesn't really, you know, block roads and their target is not aggravating the public. At least they target the people they complain about which I still don't agree with, but at least it's better than aggravating the public. Nevertheless, I think it's um, it's a wrong approach. As an example of this, uh, last year, apparently they had a meeting lined up with the government and a group of Greenpeace activists went to Rishi Sunak's house, uh, his constituency house in outside Richmond in North Yorkshire, and they put a big black drip down over it. They claim that they, they made sure that he and his family weren't at home. Um, no doubt they'll call it a peaceful protest, but it was an incredibly stupid thing to do. It was widely criticised, um, you know, left, right and centre, and it achieved nothing. The government then cancelled the scheduled meeting, just proving that their infantile stunts don't achieve anything. Now, Greenpeace is older than the other groups I've mentioned. I believe it was set up in the 70s. Um, and I'm not going to absolutely dismiss, you know, the last 40, 50 years of their activities, say it's all been a washout. It may well be that they've played somewhat of a role in increasing environmental consciousness. I'll give them that. But I do think that their stunts have polarised the public. I don't think they're productive. Um, I think, frankly, they act like a bunch of petulant kids. And if they, you know hoisting themselves up onto a shell platform, that's trespassing. It's a criminal offence. So I don't like shell, but, you know, is it really surprising that they're going to take legal action for that? You know, if there's some rich guy in a mansion and you break into his home, he may be an unpleasant character or she, um, but it is still trespass. Um, and the problem I have with a group like Greenpeace is they, they think that they're above the law. They really do think that they're above the law, um, as do all equal zealots. There's another point with all of this. You know, I could say, oh, well, at least they have the right intentions. I'm not so sure that they do, because a group like Greenpeace, they are not just talking about uh, sustainability. They're not just talking about environmental protection. They would have a situation where absolute, there's absolutely nothing made from oil whatsoever, 
they would have us basically brought back in time to a pre-industrial revolution situation. Um, because if you really strip it there, what eco groups are demanding, it's just not feasible for human society. You know, if you look at, for example, changing all vehicles to electric vehicles, electric vehicles have a very dubious safety record. And you'll find that nothing is produced without using some natural resources. And in some cases, it actually uses more resources than what is currently being used. So I don't think they really have answers. These groups are very good at protesting. They're very good at condemning. And like Greta Thunberg, it's blah, blah, blah. Condemn, 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 but not really add any answers. Now, I'm vocal about a lot of things I don't like, but I do suggest alternatives. So when I criticise the criminal justice system, I always am quite vocal about what I think that should be there instead. Um, I don't just condemn without coming up with what I feel would be a better alternative. Now, whether I'm right or wrong is for people to make, you know, they can decide that. But basically, I see Greenpeace as a very unprofessional group. I don't think that they are very responsible campaigners. I think they're more established than the likes of Just Stop Oil. In that sense, they're a little bit more assertive, a little bit more pragmatic, because at least they understand that aggravating the public isn't the right answer. Um, but, you know, they claim that they have huge public support. I'm not convinced that they do. They probably have quite a lot of young people in, you know, university student unions. Um, but we're a country of almost 68 million people. If Greenpeace was as popular as they claim they are, they would have millions of supporters. I think it probably goes into the thousands, certainly not millions. Um, also, why don't they put themselves up for election? I mean, if they really, really want to change the world, why don't they do it from a point of view of legislation? In all seriousness, why don't they register as a political party, put themselves up for election and say, look, this is what we're saying to the public. We believe these issues are important. Vote for us and we'll do something about it. If they think respective governments are useless and doing nothing on the issues they claim to care about, why don't they stand for election? I mean, that is the question I would ask them. That says to me that they're professional protesters. You know, if if the government introduces really, really green policies tomorrow, I know it hasn't. I know they're angry with Sunak for um, what they perceive as a U-turn or not going far enough. But even if the government really introduced like the greenest policies of any government in the world, I guarantee you Greenpeace would still find some reason to protest and engage in their stunts. They aren't really interested in dialogue. They're not really interested in solutions. I think they just like protesting. Um, and I think they genuinely believe that they're doing it for the planet. But I, I don't have much time for them. Uh, I don't have quite the same level of contempt for them as I do for the likes of Just Stop Oil, Extinction Rebellion and Co. I mean, Just Stop Oil, as far as I'm concerned, is an obnoxious cult. I have zero respect for Just Stop Oil. I think they're sociopaths. I think that they they have a total contempt for public opinion. And more importantly, well, that is important, but just as importantly, um, what they're doing does not work. It just doesn't work. So, you know, looking at these comments on the thread, I'd say 70, 80% of them are against Greenpeace. Again, I know that you can't weigh everything on comments, but I just don't think they're as popular as they claim they are. And I think the reason for that is people see attention seekers. They see them engaging these not in these non cyclical stunts. I mean, I don't know how they think putting black uh, canvas over Rishi Sunak's home is going to save the planet. That's what I find infuriating about these sort of groups. They're more interested in stunts and actually coming up with productive solutions to things. I have respect for environmentalists who really are trying to do productive things like uh, working with green companies, engaging in sustainable solutions, etc. Uh, conservation efforts, all those are good things. But I have no time for publicity seeking stunts that only puzzle, annoy and perplex the public. They don't actually solve anything. And, you know, I'm sick and tired of this idea that eco-zealots have. If you challenge them, if you challenge their infantile stunts, then they'll say that you're, you're brainwashed. They'll say that you don't really care about the planet. They, they're the only ones that care. They're special, apparently. They're very, very 
egotistical people. Um, so yeah, Greenpeace, I do not support you so long as you continue engaging in these sort of methods. Uh, what I would say is grow up, be professional. Um, I'm not saying be less passionate. You know, you could be passionate, but professional. I don't think Greenpeace is particularly professional. I think they have the advantage that they're heavily funded by a lot of people. Uh, they're well established. That's why they've, you know, they can afford these ads and so on. But as an organization, I have little respect for them. Um, it may be that once upon a time they were, well, I was going to say they were once more professional. I'm not sure that they were. It's always been their sort of calling card to engage in stunts. But I really, really have a problem with the idea that if you if you don't like what these eco groups do, then you're against the planet. You're somehow an apologist for big energy companies. No, um, not at all. It, it's this black and white thinking I have a problem with. They very much take the view you're with us or against us. And that is um, quite an extreme mindset. Um, and yeah, we all feel strongly about something, but I do believe that the way you go about something is extremely important. I have no respect for the way Greenpeace goes about things. Um, I think it's counterproductive. I would like them to cite what specifically their stunts achieve. And they'll say, oh, it gets people talking about the issues. Really? Look at the comments. I invite anyone to look at the comments on these advertisements and see if there's overwhelming support for Greenpeace, because there isn't. And even if the comments cannot be taken as a whole picture, again, they don't have millions of supporters. They have thousands of supporters. They don't have millions of supporters. So, yeah, I uh, I really think, I really hope that Greenpeace would introspect, but uh, that's asking too much because it would mean showing a little bit of humility. As for Shell suing them, I'm not going to say I support Shell, but what do they expect? If they are trespassing on oil platforms, they can call it peaceful protest. And that's another point. You know, is it peaceful? Because aside from being disruptive, you know, they're putting their own safety at risk, which means they then are potentially putting the emergency services at risk. Maybe not on an oil platform, but in their other stunts. Um, you know, if one of them was to get injured, the emergency services would have to come out uh, from their stupidity. So... I really have little respect for what they do.